be shy Cause I Life won't bring you down too far Andrew McCart, IFL TV in association with MTK Global. Whew, tough night's work for Sean McComb. Uh, before we talk about the fight, let's talk about the ring walk. What the fuck was that? What do you mean? That was the best <laughs> ring walk you've ever seen in your life. I'll, I'll, put, I'll post it on my Instagram story so it was, but it was about the bit. That's me. It was bright. I'll post it on my Instagram story, man, so it was, it was unreal, man. Like, I was just, obviously, I knew it was coming on. I haven't told no one. Um, and when the music started, it was low, it was quite low. And then all I heard was ha 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 laughing around the small, whatever that, that is in there. Five, was it? It was the me, studio, me, everyone laughing. And I was like, just enjoying myself. And everyone, I, all I could hear was people laughing. And well, I was like, that was obviously all these guys, like, but the fuck, it was funny. That <laughs> no, was good, it was, good. It, was, it was a fun night. Let's talk about the fight, because although the ring walk was fun, did you have fun in that ring there with CR? Yeah, I did, yeah, I did. Um, first, Three, four rounds was I felt very in control, comfortable. CR's a a tough operator, but my God, the heat in that in that place is f f unbelievable. Um, and CR's a very very tough operator. He come come. He tried when he had no answers after three rounds, so he just came and made it hard for me and came in with the head and coming in low and 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 that's what I expected anyway from him because he comes he comes to win and. He's a good winning record. He's fought some big names, and I believe Lee. When Lee says he phoned him, he says, "Yes, I beat him. I will beat him." When he offered the fight, so he come to win. And he, he's had a six of a fall. It's not. He wasn't called in last minute to replace someone. He was given a six, seven week training camp, and he's been obviously working on a game plan for seven weeks to beat me. So what was a fit? CR has gone. I'm happy enough from a performance. A lot of mistakes, but still happy enough. It stepped up another level. You said yourself, we spoke a little bit off camera there, you said yourself that your legs were feeling that a little bit with the heat. I think just the, yeah. just with the, the sheer, vo the, the, even Danny Vaughan was sweating just sitting in the corner. So I don't know what, I can't imagine what it was like for you in there. But was your legs, did your legs go because of the heat, the dehydration sort of thing? Yeah, the, the, they go. I'll be honest, they were a bit tired. Now, even now, my left, my left calf is cramped up. It's a bit, I don't even know what the fuck's wrong with it, but <laughs> it's sore. It's tight. And I just feel dehydrated and I mean I have done all, all the right processes right through for hydration the electrolytes and everything you need to dehydrate fully with my nutritionist it's just the heat was phenomenal it was 30 degrees in there 40 degrees heat I mean it's 30 degrees it was 27 today mm -hmm. outside but then the and there's no air con in here and the lights on top of it you're talking 35 degrees I'm serious and it was just unbelievable heat what happened in the ninth round? Yeah, there was something wrong with your eye. Nobody could figure out what had happened, but could you explain what happened to us? Yeah, it was just, I ran close. Ty tried to tie his CR up. We both fell. I fell, scruffled it around. And I was, my hand was stuck on the rope. I was trying to get my hands off the rope. And as I turned around, the referee tried to help me up. And his finger went in my eye, the ref's finger. So I was like, what? So I, I was blinking and the, what, my eye was watering a lot. And the ref was like, you okay? He's like, he's like, sorry, sorry. He's like, your finger. He's like, I oh, know, sorry. Whatever, whatever. And then he was trying to pull me back into the ring, but my eye was still, like, I was still trying to get my eye, like, fully opened. And he was trying to sort of race me into the ring, and I was like, hold on a second, and he get, can I put water on my eye? And he was like, no. So it was like, and then that's when I went on the move. That's when I started boxing, started moving, because CR seemed that my eye was twitching, he and he was coming, you. coming, so I just started moving and boxing. And tell me I settled, and then me I settled, and I settled. Well, that, that, that's, that's good to know because we were trying to figure out what the heck had happened to your eye because we can obviously you'd fell and then you got up and your eye was sort of like what the yeah. what the fuck happened to Sean? That's you done at one forty. Now I spoke to Danny. He's saying that you're moving down at one thirty five. Now you just fought well away at the end. Ciaro's go. He's come down at your weight. He's yeah. big and strong, and you've proven that you're strong at one forty. Yeah. How much of a monster are you going to be down at one thirty five? I don't know yet, but <laughs> I'm hoping. That I can, yeah, I, I'm, I'm confident because of the nutrition I have. I have Stephen Floyd working with me on board, and we do all the ray process, like we go through everything, like with all the ray proceedings. We get the DAXA scans, we do the body measurements with the fat, 
the fat, the muscle mass, and we'll weigh everything up and we'll have a good body fat percentage, make one three five, good water weight and very capable of doing it, so why not? Definitely. Well, I'm looking forward to that because obviously I'm I'm looking at you right now and you're 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 going to be big at 135, Sean. I'm going to you're going to be a beast, definitely. What's next for you then? I know have you got a holiday planned or anything like that? I will. Um, go. Well, it's my birthday on Friday. Happy birthday! Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's just a pint of harp will do me lovely if you see me out on the pint. I'm drinking harp or a wee uh, whiskey and Coke Zero. I need to drink Coke Zero now because I'm going down to 135. No, no ordinary Coke. Um, no, it's my birthday on Friday. My girlfriend booked me a surprise, which you had to tell me, um, to go to Dublin on Sunday. And then next week I'm going on holiday for a week, just a quiet one, chilled one. Wait, 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 stop. You're going on a chilled holiday, Sean. I've followed you for the best part of a couple of years now. Every single time you've gone on holiday, it's not been chilled, man. Are you sure you're going to go for a chilled holiday? I can't make no promises, I'll tell you that much, but stay tuned, follow me on Instagram for a laugh, Sean McComb won. There's one, there's an Instagram page that was hacked, at Sean McComb, that's not the one, has 13.7k followers, black it, delete it, it's not me. Follow Sean McComb won, and we'll get a laugh going, yeah. bang bang gravy chip. Yeah. Bang bang gravy chip, yeah. yeah. Well, Sean, as always, thanks for this for Eiffel TV. I'll let you go and enjoy the rest of the night. Get back to the hotel, rest, do what you need to do. Again, thanks for this for Eiffel TV. I enjoyed my time with you. I enjoyed talking to you, mate. So thanks for the time. And uh, hopefully, can't, can't wait to tell you to fight at 135. It's going to be good. You're the man. Thank you very much, Andrew. Appreciate that, Sean. Thanks, mate. See you soon.